and welcome to our live for the DYC. We're here tonight from Pump Street. Um, if any of you have watched Dairy Girls, it's where he says, what were you doing walking up Pump Street with a cream horn? <laughs> so that's where we are. We're walking around Pump Street. So Pump Street is the house where the Dairy Youth Community live and hopefully it's going to be some sort of youth team will be here um, next year. So, hello Holly, how you doing? See you all there. Hi everybody. Um, tonight we're just going to talk about the DYC. We're going to show you around the DYC house. We are going to show you where exactly it is um, in Derry. If anyone knows where Primark is, you're basically there. So, we'll show you all this and we're going to talk to you about, we're going to talk to Charlotte about her time in DYC. We're going to talk to you about um, on what we've got coming up from the year. So, even if you're too young, to do DYC, so DYC is 18 to 25. Um, I know some of these are still um, coming into the scholarship this year. Maybe something you can consider after the scholarship, or if you know anyone that'd be interested, just ask them to message the page. So we'll start with Charlotte. What is the DYC? Hello, everyone. Well, I can see we have another ex uh, DYC member on here. Hi, Andy. Big shout out. Woo -woo. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so the DYC is a gap year opportunity, uh, a faith gap year opportunity. For anyone who, as Lizzie said, is 18 to 25, um, it's a chance to spend the year living in community, as we've said, so you'll be living here uh, and you'll be working together as a community and praying together and also having fun. So kind of what you would do is, uh, so all it's all youth ministry and parish work and diocesan work and stuff. So going into schools, doing fun activities, uh, based around faith, you'll be going into primary schools, and that's really cute because all the kids are class and hilarious. And going into the secondary schools, and also getting a chance to work with like Lizzie and that, uh, going doing um, school retreats and stuff. So that would be around the whole diocese, so you get you know not only in Derry but get to go out to the other cool places and stuff like that. So yeah. So it's a gap year. Um that they come, obviously, I say, and Charlotte says living community. I have no experience of living in community. Charlotte does have an experience. You have a lot of lots. experience. Yeah, I have a lot. Oh, so it wasn't just a wee bit. Oh, lots. yeah. I was thinking yeah. my wording right. A community guru. A community guru. <laughs> is what some people like to call me. A community guru. Yeah. Right. So we'll have words from the wise one herself. <laughs> on community. And what it was like. Um, did Andy live with you in community? Andy did live here. He lived in this house here in community with me. And there's another person, if it's Naomi on the MDCYS, I also live with her in community. So can they comment and actually tell us if Charlotte was a guru and was she fun to live with in community yeah. or is she not? I don't know. <laughs> now they're just going to say I'm a badness. Well, it would be nice to see Oh, we've got a thumbs up. Yeah. So maybe somebody's been nice to you. Yeah. Anyway, DYC... <laughs> We'll do a tour in a minute. The DYC, um, the death, sorry, the death youth community is something that's it's really important to us because we need help. We yeah. and it helps us um, in our work, and we want to show you how fantastic it would. Oh, the stunning. queen, oh. <laughs> the queen of the chicken box. I don't know what that is. Chicken boxes and dairy. It's a dairy thing. We like to eat them. A chicken box, yeah. a chicken kebab box. Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. Uh huh. I went, oh, do you like that? Yeah. A true guru. A true See, the guru. people have spoken. <laughs> mm. Well, as I say, I don't live in community with Charlotte, so I don't know, but I'm sure she was fine. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> well, yes, we need help, mm. and we need to be able to expand our diocese and youth ministry as much as possible, and we can't have that without the dairy youth community. The dairy youth community, um. It's been fantastic in the last couple of years. So last year we had Elaine, I don't know if she's on this, but Elaine um, came and worked with us. It was great, it was fantastic. And the year before, um, when I was working with the parish of Templemore, we had Billy, Sebastiano and Michaela. We had some crack, mm. some good fun. We took them in a good few tours. We went around Donegal and my wee Hyundai. Anyway, <laughs> it was good. So the Dairy Youth Community is something that really is special to our diocese and it's it's a fantastic place to work, Derry, as we all know, it's really fun. Yep. But this house is amazing. This house, mm -hmm. like, yes, we dream of this yeah. house. So, speaking of that, we are going to go on a tour. Would yes. you like to join the tour? So, right, this will be interesting. Right, Charlotte, lead the way since you're the guru of the house. Okay, well, we have the office here. 
So is everyone the this same is in the office? office, just for anybody who wants to know. So obviously do all the do all the behind the scenes work here, all the uh, planning, prepping, stuff like that. Little chill out room there, don't really, this door's a bit stiff. <laughs> right, chill out room. Class. Obviously we, we like to be involved in the oh yeah, in the parish, so all of the furniture is donated. So this isn't mine and Lizzie's taste, but it might be some of your taste, so that's okay. The chapel here. Now, obviously, the Blessed Sacrament got taken out during lockdown. So, But this is the chapel, so the community would pray in here, do their morning prayer, evening prayer, uh, have time to come in and sit in quiet or whatever you wanted to do. Great space for community prayer or private prayer. Maybe you fancy and well, that's a fire alarm if you ever set the fire alarm off with in community sometimes it happens because some people aren't great cooks <laughs> that that's what happens would you like to mention any names though i mean andy loved a chicken nugget you didn't really stray too far from from anything else so right anyway up the stairs we're loving this carpet choice oh the carpet's divine <laughs> how nice is that stained glass window the stained glass window that's a nice big it is it's stunning somebody's got yeah great windows they are good windows great i have to windows, say who 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 lives in a house with windows like that? I know, when the sun's shining through, it's very rarely, it's, it's not really sunny a lot in Derry, but when the sun comes through, it is nice. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So up here, there uh, is kind of more the living quarters. So in here we've got the kitchen, obviously in community, a lot of community life happens in the kitchen. You know, you're cooking together, eating together, uh, having your breakfast in the morning when you're getting up really early to go out to Mahara or somewhere <laughs> far away. Maybe another place, Lizzie, where we would have to get up really Malin. early. Malin. Malin. Oh, gosh, yeah, Malin. Um, Andy says he eats veg now. Hmm? Andy says he eats veg now. Oh, that's good, because the, the only veggie I've ate was a potato. <laughs> so, uh, this is the dining room, so you'd have your community meals here. You'd have people around. Take a wee look out the window. Pump Street with a cream horn. That's Pump Street. Pump Street. And I did see somebody from Derry Girls walking down here. Well, so did I, actually. If you want to meet around. some Derry Girls stars, come. Yeah. So, yeah, the dining room where you have all your community meals and stuff like that. Me and man himself. Yeah. Great. Okay. Next so This is the main bit of the room, the house. Now... People can comment and say how beautiful the decor is. <laughs> so this is the living room. I quite like the pink. I mean, they're very comfy, but I mean, just look, show the, show the people the clash. <laughs> look at that. Floral, floral, brown floral, pink floral. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Fantastic. I don't think it was, I don't know if it was women that designed this, let's just say. No. Vanilla's same, so beautiful decor. Yeah, Vanilla's lovely, isn't it? It's great. <laughs> it only gives you a headache on this. <laughs> but no, it is. It's a fantastic space. I'd love that living room. And how about we run up quickly to the top? What, the very top? Yeah. Right, you go. Right. Okay. If I die of a heart attack, it's on you. Right, more stained glass. <laughs> this is no more PT for me this week. <laughs> yeah. We're doing this, if we don't get people oh, joining the community, I know, this. exactly. Let's look at this window, how far out we are. Oh my goodness, look how high up we are. Mental, right? Right, so in here, some of the bedrooms. You never mentioned there was a lift, Charlotte. A, well, we cheers, cheers for that. Break. So, right, so here's an example the bedrooms. Massive. Oh, wrecked after the stairs. Massive, it is massive, isn't it, Charlotte? Bedrooms. So they're all like this, just big rooms. Great, fantastic. Hopefully, isn't it? So you would get a bedroom to yourself. Some communities don't. Ooh. I know that is, it's amazing. So luxury. It is luxury. Toilets. Toilets, Toilets are going there. I'm lost. Bathrooms. Is this one out? Yeah. Right. But oh, even like the floor space, look how big it yeah. is. So it's a fantastic space for the house. So, yeah, if you want some time on your own or whatever, plenty of space to to go around. So are we taking them outside? Yeah. To uh -huh. show them. So this 
So if anyone has any questions as well, yeah, please comment please the questions comment and ask as we go on. And then we'll try and answer as best we can. Yeah. As the guru herself says. Oh yes. You know, she's in the community life. <laughs> yeah. Give us a shout. Right, so back to the chapel. Oh, make sure not to lock us out. Oh yeah. Do I need to hold us? No. Fine. Right. Okay. Here so this is the pro of living so close. You are literally in the city centre. As you can see, I'm gonna walk down to the bottom of the street. No, I won't actually because the Wi-Fi. <laughs> As you can see, Subway is Subway's there. there. Premark is down there. Is down here. Premark is a massive deal. And then you've got the pound shop that is literally closer than Premark. Yeah. So definitely. Fantastic. The favourite icon in the house. That's a good question. Stained glass windows are pretty good. Stained glass windows are. And this is. Um, it's not like it's not. Um, what cathedral is that called? That's Saint Columns yeah, Cathedral. Saint Columns, yeah. So no, very close. Look, we'll show you the stained glass windows from the start of the house. Do you want me to try to describe this place with like the one with the stained glass windows? It's yeah. beautiful, isn't it? Go okay, on. right, we're going to come back in and explain a wee bit and more. And it's not raining, so that's good. That is a pro. Back to the office. Mm -hmm. That's my workout done. Definitely. Right. Subway breakfast after mass is a game changer. <laughs> yes, it really was. What do you get in Subway for breakfast? What kind of things? Just a sandwich? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. After mass. Cheeky Subway before work. Best thing about community life, Guru. Go. Best thing about community life is probably, well, I know for me, I've definitely made a lot a lot of lifelong friends uh, and that's because you spend so much time together with each other so you obviously live together work together do everything together but it's just great when you can live with people who are you know similar to you in the way that they they think the way you know the more young people and stuff so you really get to know people when you live with them and that's the good the bad the ugly the funny so it's fantastic so that's great. So definitely, best thing about living in community is making lifelong friends. Okay, more questions. I have more questions for right, you. Right, okay, go on. Time, prime time, Charlotte. Yes. Charlotte, when did you do the DYC? The so I did the first, the first ever two years of it. So that was in, so it started in 2014. So I joined in 2014 and stayed until 2016. So I did two years there. That was my first two years. First two years. So you are an original member, let's call it. Yeah, I'm the OG. The OG, right. Yeah. Uh -huh. The OG of DYC. Yeah. What else, what kind of things did you do in the dairy? You, now obviously you work in the dairy diocese, so you know what it would look like for a young person. We're going to talk about that later. What it would be for a young person, what kind of things they would do. But what did you do throughout your time here? So, me, so we're obviously based in dairy and we're... Obviously, we we're based in the Cathedral uh, of St. Eugene's. So we do a lot of work in the schools. So like going into the primary schools, we have a lot of primary schools in the city. So you really get to know them and you get to know your primary, uh, primary and secondary schools in the city. Uh, so you'll be going in every single week, seeing them, getting them prepped for their first communion, confirmation. So that was really fun. Got to go in every single week. So, you know, you'd go around town and they'd be like, Charlotte. So that was like really cute. So After your subway breakfast. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then going into the secondary schools was great. So we do stuff like Alpha or the Irish version Nua, which means new in Irish. Uh, She's so, got skills. Oh yeah. So she learns yeah, skills. I do. So, uh, so yeah. So going into the secondary schools and also going on retreats. So working with the diocese and going on diocesan retreats. So that was all, a lot of the secondary schools um, around the diocese. So we got to travel around and there would be day retreats and we would go to, to their school or to somewhere, you know, like a centre near them and we would deliver retreats, uh, which was fantastic because it was just fun, you know, faith-filled but really fun and just a great time. 
so we used to do lots of that. So you had lots of work to do. So we've done the community life, spoke about what work. Tell us your favourite place to eat in Derry. Oh my gosh, so many. And I know everyone who I work with really slags me all the time because I pretty much keep the restaurants open here because I go out <laughs> all the time to And she's eat. slagging other people about not cooking. Oh, I know, know but I, I like to cook, but I, I, you know, I'm doing good for the local businesses. <laughs> so, no, there's so many great places. Since you're in Derry City, you can literally walk to so many restaurants and they're great. Shout out to, I went to Key West the other night, you know, Fitzroy's, Brown's if you're feeling fancy. <laughs> uh, you know, there's loads of places, uh, which is fantastic. No, it's a very vibrant city. Obviously, I grew up in Donegal, so Derry was my closest city and it's, it's a fantastic place to go to even go out or have a social life. It's all fantastic, it really is. Uh, you have, you've created a good social life, haven't you? Love oh yeah, it. love it. Love it. Yeah. So Derry is amazing, but as we said, you're right bang in the middle. You can walk anywhere, you can do anything. The Derry as a place is to get warm, welcoming people. Would you not agree? Yeah, because you'll be working with us. Yes. So we would love it if people would think about applying. Anyone, I see a few of these that have applied for the scholarship. We're going to try and do a lot of our work with the Derry Youth Community and a lot of work in Pump Street as well. So we hope that you've all looked at it and looked at what we're doing and hopefully you can be excited about coming on board with us. Anything else we need to talk about, about what... We're going to talk about what the year's going to look like for anybody that's willing is going to want to apply. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about what we can do throughout the year. But is there anything else you want to mention about your time? Uh, no, not really. Uh, it was great and very good and a great time to grow and in lots of ways which is fantastic well obviously it worked your back yeah uh -huh. it obviously did work because i am back so oh yay success <laughs> tech og yeah. dyc <laughs> yeah. it's so here you've been working with me in the parish and the parish uh youth coordinator we work with lizzie for yes, diocesan diocesan. things and together sometimes if you look you you get both of us you get both of us I don't so, know if that's actually a good thing. I think it's great. <laughs> but, no, it is good. It's good fun. But if anybody has any information, so even if you're in uh, sixth form now or whatever, even if it's not for this year and it's for the next year, you know, we'll always want people. So yeah. if you're interested, you know, and you might think, oh, I'm too young now, but maybe for the next year, you can, you know, keep us in mind then. Definitely. Um, give us even just messages and talk to us. Yeah. What we're going to do is talk quickly about what the year's going to look like. So we're a bit of an unknown, as we all know, because of COVID. We, what we would usually do and what we have been doing in the past might not happen this year. But that doesn't matter. We still have a full schedule, yeah. if not a busier schedule, coming up in September, August and September. So as Charlotte said, you'll be working with her um, in the parish aspect, in me and diocesan, and if you're lucky, together. Together. <laughs> There's a lot of laughing when it's together. Um, yeah. What we're going to be looking at is a lot of online stuff. We've done a lot of online programme together and with other uh, parish leaders, shout out to Aoife, Moira, Jules, Savon, all of you, um, and your help within the online programme. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be working online with them um, and trying our best to make an online programme. You're going to be hopefully in schools, depending on how schools go, and um, parish retreats and parish leaders. That's what you're going to do on the diocesan end, um, Charlotte. Parish End, you'll be doing something. Parish End, we'll be doing still, obviously, the for us, the cathedral's open and stuff like that. So it's a lot of helping in the parish, which is great because you get to know all of the parishioners and stuff like that. So we would still be doing stuff uh, with our John Paul II Award students uh, in the parish, which would be great. And also just the parish as a whole. So, you know, of all ages. So, you know, we'd be able to uh, work with the the more elderly people and also the the youth side of it as so well. yeah you'll be doing youth ministry and as in the parish aspect you'll probably be doing a bit of all ages yeah, ministry, which is great well. because you know well rounded well rounded and it is great to the older people big shout out to them they they are great fun and they do they help they help us and they yeah. sometimes question our opinions and we see things from different point of views then which is great so we've told you everything that we can tell you about it basically it's up to you and if it is up to you, if you would like to know how to apply, you can visit our website, which is... The Dairy Youth Community. Yep, and our email is... dyc at dairydiocese.org And if you would like... <laughs> all lowercase. 
Old orchids? Yeah, just right. in case, because sometimes you mm-hmm. never know. I would have put DYC in capital, so that's a good point. Yeah. So, and if you would like, obviously, um, the Dairy Youth community have their own social media pages. We're, we're obviously closely linked, that's why we did it on our Instagram tonight. But they have their own Instagram and their own Facebook, and it's at Dairy Youth community. Not at, yeah, at Dairy underscore youth underscore community. community. So it's please nice go and along. <laughs> it's a challenge in itself. Yeah. That's round one in the application process. Get into the Instagram. <laughs> so if you go and like all of our pages, yeah. and if all of, um, if you want email us and get con- conversation about it, but even if you want to just message one of the pages, we'll get back to you as soon as we yeah. can. And we really hope that we'll have a good new term in applicants. So the new term is hopefully going to start in September, but we'll get all that information to you. But we just really would like to see who's interested and who would like to join our team this year. As I say, can we have any more promotion? You'll be working with me and Charlotte. It's as good as it's going to get. What more do you want? One, exactly. And, like, you can. and please message us if you would like to join the Dairy Youth community or you know anyone who would be interested. Yeah. So thank you for your attention. Thank you, everyone. And we will chat to you soon. All right. We'll right. see you later. Bye. Bye.